Welcome to Chris Henry's Myth Busting Series. We've had lots and lots of requests for me to cover different areas of the game. But what I'm going to do, I'm, I've looked at all the requests, and the requests that I've had the most, I'm going to start with. Request number one, and the biggest requesting um, information about this particular area, is the eyes. Which ball should you be looking at, or focused on, at the moment the Q-tip contacts the cue ball? And it's a very, very interesting question, this. I've been doing a lot of research into this area with all the top professional players over the last 25 years. And we have differing players doing different things. The interesting part about this is you don't see with your eyes. You actually see with the visual cortex part of your brain. Now we know through some study that at the moment that the cue strikes the cue ball, your brain actually blinks and you don't see the impact. So it's not actually as important as you might think which ball you're looking at. I'll give you some examples. Ronnie O'Sullivan, when he strikes the cue ball, he's looking for the final time at that moment of impact at the cue ball. Stephen Hendry, cue ball. Jimmy White, cue ball. Peter Ebden, cue ball. Mark Williams, cue ball. John Higgins, cue ball. And so some of the greatest players in the game are looking at the cue ball at the moment of impact. Object ball players, Neil Robertson, Steve Davis, and other top players as well. So the important thing is, is what works for you. Now the great thing we've got here is this instant diagnosis technology. So we can actually find out very quickly. Here is the balls. This is a product called the balls. And it's instant diagnosis. In other words, it gives you feedback immediately. And what we can do with this is we could place it down this side of the table here. I'm going to move the camera just so you can see some of this. And I'm going to place this 17 gram the balls cue ball on the brown spot with the intention of striking it into that corner pocket. Now, on this first shot, I'm actually going to look and be focused on the cue ball at the moment of impact. Let's see what kind of result we're going to get. And I'm going to hit it into the corner pocket. So I'm going cue ball, pocket, cue ball, pocket. And then I'm coming back for the final time. I'm looking at the cue ball now. And I'm going to strike. And actually, I struck the ball perfectly into the corner pocket. Which means the striking part of the shot was actually very effective for me. And again, you can test yourself for this. This particular time, what I'm going to do, at the moment the Q-tip strikes the cue ball, I'm now going to be looking at the object, the pocket, or in a shot term, object ball. So watch again. I'm going down to the object ball, cue ball, object ball, cue ball, final time up to the object ball and striking. And again, I successfully struck the cue ball into the pocket, doing it both ways. Now, we're going to leave the camera behind the pocket now, just to show you, this, this went in the pocket twice now, just to show you that if you don't hit the ball in the middle, when you're intending to, and that's a very important aspect, if ultimately in snooker you're trying to strike this cue ball where intended, this particular test is about striking the middle when you want to. Not all shots are centre ball shots. But if I was to apply a little bit of side spin, let's say a little bit of left hand side spin to this cue ball, watch what happens. This gives you the feedback immediately to tell you you didn't strike where intended. Now, let's just quickly move on then to what we're going to do now is we're going to use the the ball's red ball to check our aiming and putting a ball into a pocket. And again, this is 17 grams, so it's very tight tolerance, but it will reveal to us very quickly if we're aiming correctly. That goes on the pink spot. We're using a standard cue ball. So this ball will follow through the red ball. On the first shot, what I'm going to do, I'm going to look at the cue ball when I strike. So watch this. I'm going to come onto the object ball potting point, 
cue ball, object ball, cue ball, object ball, and as I come back now, I'm cue ball. And the red ball actually went slightly to the right half of the pocket, but it went in the pocket. That was looking at the cue ball when I struck the ball. Now, we're going to get these balls back out here again. So it's the red and the cue ball. And this time, it's the same shot, but this time what I'm going to do, I'm going to look at the object ball when I strike. So here we go, object ball first, cue ball, object ball, cue ball as I come back, eyes up to the object ball, and then strike. And as you can see there, the ball went straight into the pocket. That's my microphone. It's fine. So, here's the interesting thing. It's all about you as an individual player finding which method works best. And what I've found over this last 18 months is with this product, because it gives you instant diagnosis and feedback, you can very quickly find out if one method works best compared to the other one. Are you a natural cue ball player looking at the cue ball when you strike? Are you a natural object ball player looking at the object ball when you strike? There is no correct way. We, don't, we already know that many top professional players look at the cue ball when they strike. Many top professionals look at the object ball when they strike. But you've got to find the right way that works for you. And this is a really powerful and quick way to find out that information. So that's myth number one we've just covered. There is no correct ball to look at, object ball or cue ball. <laughs>